Good evening, everyone. We are Team Drano Light, also spelled L-I-T-E. <laughs> My name is Marvin. I'm John. Hi, I'm Amud. I'm Amy. And I'm Elisa. And uh, as Marvin said, our name is Team Drano. Uh, if you couldn't guess already, we are kind of all about pipes, whether they may be clogged or leaky. <laughs> Bear with me. So uh, before I explain our project proposal and uh, expand upon this analogy, I just have a few questions for the audience. One, raise your hand if you have ever thought about leaving the transportation profession. Okay, good. I, I like the honesty. That's great. That's great. Uh, for those that may not have, and for everyone in general, just take a moment to think about if there was some colleague that of, of yours that uh, left the transportation profession at, at any point in the career pipeline, and perhaps maybe why they left. We at Team Drano Light are interested in that why and interested in that leaky pipeline. So there are four things that we want to talk about today. The first is the leaky pipeline. What is it? What do we mean when we say that? The second is, uh, where are the leaks? Is it actually leaking? Why and where? The third is, how can ITE be the plumber? And the fourth is, help us find the leaks. We need your help as well. So first of all, the leaky pipeline. Studies have shown in general, and I think our own personal experience has demonstrated to us, that there are people leaving our profession at every stage along the way, at every level of the profession. And so what we would like to understand is, uh, is, is this really the case? And so that brings us to our second point, is uh, where are the leaks? Why are they happening? So through our project, we would like to identify where along our profession we're losing people. Um, I think in industry, it's kind of, it, 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 it's generally accepted and, and acknowledged that, uh, that the, the, the leakage are, uh, often affect some groups more so than others. So including women, including minorities, uh, perhaps including people working in certain organizations, such as the public and private sectors. We would like to identify where they're leaving and some of the reasons why, uh, because we think that's really important. And we've got some really interesting ideas on how to collect this information and synthesize it. So the third point is, then how can ITE become the plumber? So where can we as an organization make a meaningful difference what are some of the strategies that we could uh, implement to actually address some of the issues that we identified through this project? That brings us to my final point, which is we need your help. Everybody in this room, we would like you to help us in identifying the leaks. So in the coming months, uh, we are going to be doing a lot of work in collecting information, in synthesizing the information, identifying issues, identifying strategies. So we would be, we're going to want your help and so please stay tuned, and I, I mean uh, people from the IT executive, people from the International Board of Direction, alumni from the Leadership IT program, uh, and our fellow, uh, I guess, students in, in this current class of IT, so please stay tuned. So Sharks, we want to leave you with a couple of thoughts. Um, we had the opportunity yesterday for Jeff to uh, provide us a bit of a speech on all the good things that IT is doing to build a big tent community, and we think that this is important work as far as once people are in the tent, keeping them there. Um, at the end of the day, our goal we'd like to see is our profession continue to be a choice profession for top professionals for generations to come. We think that's an outstanding legacy. With that, any questions?